Hey there, my Zaniacs. I know I'm back on my desktop, well, my laptop, really, and I am on <laughs> my really crappy old headset. But I keep having some of my friends here ask me how I make my thumbnails. So that's what I am going to show you what I do. And I'm, I am a big fan of a method that I learned in college called the kit. K-I-S-S, -S, KISS method, which is keep it simple, stupid. That's really what it means. So what we first need to do right here, I'm going to, I picked a short one, so I'm going to go ahead and download that to my desktop. Save as on the desktop, that way I don't lose it. It'll be just a minute. Okay, we have that finished so I'm going to close that and we don't need that just yet so what I need to do is I'm going to open my movie maker now, I started doing this because I got really tired of the images that YouTube would suggest I use from my video it's like no I can do better than what you pick so we need to wait and let that process. Okay, it is loading audio data, which will shouldn't take too much longer. I mean, it, it does, you know, Movie Maker does take a little bit. All right, so now that it's fully loaded into Movie Maker, what I'm gonna do, sometimes I'll play it all the way through, looking through. This time, I'm just gonna click through find a good image <laughs> can't use that YouTube does not like curse words too much I'll find something That's a good one, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and snapshot that. Save that to a desktop also. No, desktop, I said. All right, so it's gonna save it as a PNG. You're going to want to love PNGs. PNGs are images where the background behind the image is going to already be transparent which means you don't have to go and click through with your eraser and remove all that gunk that you don't want behind the image you can just place images on top all right i'm going to go ahead and close this and i'm not going to save it i mean i already have a thumbnail for that so i'm not really that worried about it so now with this snapshot here i'm going to go back and I'm going to open Pixlr. And we're going to click Pixlr Editor. Create a new image. Now, for a YouTube thumbnail, you're going to want 1280 by 720. And I always click the transparent. I don't really know if it really has much of uh, a difference really because you're going to be covering this whole entire background right there so what we do we open that snapshot right here now for me I use the chat on the side here so I'm going to use my little box selector tool and just grab the image and I'm going to copy that we can close this part now and paste that in. We're gonna free transform and make sure you only drag it by the corner otherwise it's gonna get you know, really wonky, wide, or tall. We're not gonna apply the changes there. So we're gonna grab from the corner and just drag it up. And fill out that whole window. 
All right, now, if you've noticed, dragging it open like that, it uh, distorted it a little bit. Uh, now it's a bit fuzzy, so we're gonna sharpen a couple times. And I always try Mimic HDR, because that always, see, look, it just brightened that right up. Now, to add words, to add words, where I go, I go to CoolText, CoolText.com, which, of course, Pixlr, yeah, Pixlr.com also, P-I-X-L-R. Um, so many different, these are all, other than the ones, right, like this one, this one, that one, um, the rest of them have transparent background. So all you have to do is create the word, save it, and then insert it, and you don't have any background to get rid of, and it's just, it's perfectly there. And I already have a couple made, but... Well, I have the one name one made for my name, so I'm gonna make one that says Alien Isolation. Let's see here. What's a good one? We'll just use the alien glow. We'll go with the flow. Alien isolation. I'm gonna create that logo download and save which that goes straight to your download folder you don't have to worry about where it is it's always going to go to your download folder now um, I'm just going to make another little one here and whichever ones you whichever fonts you choose to use is up to you. Um, I get a bit picky about it. I'm not going to be completely picky about it this time, but um, let's see. Let's put something fancy in here. I'll just how I make my thumbnails. Let's see. This one um, it's all shoved to the left, so at the top part, I'm going to hit space a couple times, move that over until it's right in the middle. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to download that also. Alright, so now we have the words that we can use. We go back here to Pixlr. I'm going to open an image, go to Downloads. I'll go ahead and throw my Zany Janie on there. Select all, edit, copy, edit, paste, and free transform. I just scoot it down, apply the changes, and it's part of my image. So let's get the other co the other two on here, and make it a full thumbnail. Select all, edit, copy, edit, paste. Free transform. I'm gonna make that big, bigger. And throw it at the top. Easy peasy. Kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Well, open. Not that I'm calling any of you stupid. It's just the method. How I make my thumbnails. Well, oh, oh, edit. Select all. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. Okay, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And we can, you see the circle? We can just move text around as much as we want. We'll make it go to the right. Now I make my thumbnails. Oh, now I can make it a little bigger. Now that it fits better. Now I make my thumbnails. Alright, I'm going to show you something else really cool here. Um, well, I'm going to sharpen it because I made it a little bit bigger. But if you go into adjustment, uh, hue and saturation is a great tool. Uh, you can change the color. 
you can make it more saturated with color, less saturated with color, all the way down to nothing. Uh, darkness, lightness. So let's find a good color. And colorize will make okay. Uh, without colorize, it this isn't a good one to use. Hang on, hang on. I'll just saturate that and leave it as that. Let's go back to the alien isolation one. Go to adjustment hue saturation. All right, the hue here. You see, it's changing the background color. If you ch click colorize, you see how the the black in the alien isolation is also changing color a bit. You can make it any color you want. But after that, there's your thumbnail. You're going to click File, Save, and it's going to be a JPEG already. We're going to save it to my computer and desktop. All right, that is saved. That is on my computer. We can leave this page now. It's right here. That can be selected from your desktop put onto your video on YouTube and there's your thumbnail guys easy thanks for watching you have a good one